I see why a lot of people invest in editing equipment software because this is probably the 50th take on this video. Actually, and just on this video alone, I deleted the first one. Um, and as you can tell, I just came home from work. I know my husband took the young one out for a few minutes. So uh, I haven't even gotten out of my work gear and our pep rally attire. I'm still donning the blue and orange. But um, I did want to share something with you. Um, planning on going on a wellness journey. I'd like to take as many people in my family with me as possible. But I, I want to share with you some of the things that I'm going through. Um, my son is, he's six. And he has ADHD, and we took him to a children's hospital upstate, and they said he had high ADHD, and he's struggling at school, at home, and even after school with behavior, hyperactivity, focusability. And so they said they didn't want to diagnose him with him being that small, but it was obvious what he had. And we've been dealing with this for three years now. And now that he's in kindergarten, um, it's really starting to show. His, he, he was also labeled as a gifted child. He's very smart. He's um, He catches on to things quickly. Uh, but there's times when he just can't sit down and focus on what he's supposed to be doing at the moment he wants to be over there or over here and um, he gets in trouble sometimes sometimes you can see it in him where he really wants to try hard uh, I think I think the light bulb that went off for me was we had a really rough day and he was very hyperactive I was about to my wits end with him and he looked at me with sad eyes and said mom am I being good today and it broke my heart but I know he's in there but I my husband and I do not believe in medicating so I know there's a lot of people that's probably flipping out for I know my sister uh, not happy with me she's also a teacher but um, that's our choice and I plan on replacing as many medications and over-the-counters as we can unhealthy things in our life I'm going to start with myself and I would like to bring maybe my family members with me, but I'm going to start with myself, maybe my younger son, and um, see what happens to us. I'm having some health issues of my own right now, and my son is dealing with the ADHD. So hopefully we'll figure some things out, maybe better eating habits, healthier living style, uh, yeah, lifestyle, and maybe even working out, exercising. So at the moment... Um, we're battling with his behavior and his attention at school and with his ADHD. Uh, on my end, uh, I'm having some health issues. We've got some blood things going on that they can't quite figure out exactly what's going on there. I'm a little, little nervous about that, and it's causing me some health issues. I have uh, extreme exhaustion at times, and I, I thought at first there was stress, and then we've done enough blood work now that we know that there's other issues there. They don't... They want to say that it's not cancer, so I'm happy for that to make sure that stays that way. But um, in the meantime, I want to try to do as many things as I can to replace chemicals or unhealthy things in our lives, whether it be food um, or habits. I am going to hopefully do a future video of the amount of chemicals that are introduced to me in one day. So I would like to... An, you know, I have a very basic lifestyle, so um, this might actually be able to compare to some of you out there. You know, get up in the morning and I notice that I'm brushing my teeth, um, mouth washing, perfumes, hairspray, facial cream, mascara. That's only a handful of things, and that's just in probably 15 minutes of my morning routine. That's not the whole entire morning routine. That's not the shower and the bathing prior to that. That's not what's happening to me when I'm at work and things that I'm exposed to. So um, I'm hoping to change all this and at least take out as much as I can. So today, I after having an issue with my son again at school, I've decided to stop by our herbalist on the way home. We live in a community where... The Amish uh, are pretty thick, 
out here and they have an herb doctor and I've been to him many a time and the herbs do work for some of you who are wondering they're a little pricey they can be de depending on your budget you know I can go in and most of the time I'll have an issue and I'll I usually come out of there with two herbs uh, sometimes I've came out of there anywhere from three to five and I spend anywhere from $30 to on the high end of a hundred and some change. So it depends on the herb you get and how many of them. So this time I went and I actually had him look at both my son and myself. Now Cooper, he looked at him. We talked about some things and he prescribed some things for him. I can't say prescribe. They're, they're not doctors or, you know, herbalists. The ones I know here, the you know, the Amish, they're not doctors, but they will see you. The one that's close to us is actually iridologist, so they look into your eyes. Um, they do some other practices that are pretty neat. Um, I wish I knew a little more in depth to be able to explain it to you better, but um, they will compare some herbs to you you know they kind of stick it up next to you and see if this one will work or that one will work and look into your eyes and check your health a little bit and then they will prescribe anywhere from two to i don't know depending on your situation two to four maybe five herbs um, today they looked at cooper and cooper was prescribed two i was prescribed three um his symptoms was adhd he doesn't sit still for very long um, we are currently giving him melatonin because if we do not, he's up at two o'clock in the morning running around the house. He was nonstop. So, um, we're continuing the melatonin within 15, I mean, it's a gummy and within 15 minutes, he's sleepy, ready to go to bed. Uh, I wanted to show you our bag that we got from Amish. So when I went in there and we visited them, this is the bag that we have, we was given, um, Let me see if I can find. Here is one of the herbs they prescribed for him. And this one isn't mine, actually. I gotta make sure I get his. And this one. And these are the two that they prescribed for Cooper. I'm supposed to give him, after they looked at him, asked us some questions. They wrote on a little piece of paper you know, as prescriptions and, you know, licorice root was actually that's this one right here was 20 drops a day for three times a day. This is going to vary from person to person. So don't go out and just buy, you know, Hey, my child has ADHD and then buy this and this thinking that's going to fix it. They have a way that they actually will check these herbs to see if they work with your body and there's there's a um see actually my brain function is not even right I, i'm hoping this this journey i'm going on is really going to help uh, and i'll explain a little more here in a second but with, with in cooper's case uh, you know the herbs i'm hoping that this will help to calm him down um without having to medicate so licorice root 20 drops three times a day so 20 in the morning 20 at noon 20 at night and then the rice bran 20 in the morning 20 at noon 20 at night now um then he's also getting his melatonin before he goes to bed i'm going to currently start even though they said three times a day i'm going to do 20 in the morning 20 at night and see how he does my friend down the road her child is on a different regiment um he's on the rice bran he is not on the licorice root he's actually on gouda cola which is a, um, let me see what I had for that herb there. Guticola is for brain function and anxiety reduction is what I had for that one. Um, but Cooper is actually currently on um, licorice root and rice bran. So I'll give you an update on how that goes. Now I know they said that the licorice root was a, was a little sweet, a sweet to it. And the rice bran was not bad. Um, I've had some herbs that have a funky smell to them. And the taste is kind of raw. 
Um, if you've never used herbs before, here's my experience with that. You can't, you take an over the counter medication and it works instantly or within 15 minutes to a half an hour. You cannot expect the herbs to do the same thing. Those are chemically created to do what they do and do it in a hurry. This is all natural. You got to give it time to get into your body, absorb a little bit, and you have to give it time. It could be anywhere from now, some of the herbs will work within an hour or so, but most of them you need to get them absor absorbed, be consistent with your dosages, and then pay attention to your body and how it works. So um, with Cooper, we're just going to do this in the morning and we're going to do it in the evening. We're doing it that way because he goes to school during the day. Yes, I'm a teacher at the same school where he's at. However, Someone else, I teach my own class, he's in kindergarten, so someone else is going to have to give him his, I want to see how this works. The lady down the road, they started out in the morning and in the evening, and they noticed that the morning dose, she was also prescribed the three times a day. They noticed that the morning dose was wore out by the time lunch had hit. So what was happening was he was, um, they were having issues with him around noon, around lunchtime. And by the time after they picked him up after school, it was uh, almost chaotic. So they um, have, and, and then they would give him another dose and things would be fine again through the evening and then that night and the next morning. So they realized he needs that middle of the day dose. So they've had a letter that was created and they took it to the school and actually the school nurse will uh, administer the middle day dose that he needs so that's how we're going to start ours we're going to do morning and evening and see if i can get away with not having to send it to school with him and then um if that works well we'll just continue that way but if it seems like we're going to running into the same problem where he needs to have that middle dose and i'll get the note that we have to have and we'll have the nurse go ahead and give him that middle of the day dose so that's what we have for cooper and he's just mainly adhd hyperactivity we'll see if it slows him down so i'm going to create another video later on to update you on how that's going these are pure herbs uh like i said it's amish that lives three miles from here uh this is the brand. This and Nature Sunshine usually is the brand that they use in Cooper's Young. So that's a dropper. Quite a few drops. You know, 20 drops. I think that's 20 drops is like a, a tablespoon size for these. But, you know, measure it out ahead of time. I wouldn't sit and drop, drop, drop. You know, that'd be... Um, and the child's not going to sit there long enough for that. So I would almost drop, count them out, put them in a spoon. And then that way you know, oh, it's this kind of spoon. And use that spoon every day. You know how much to put in there. But um, this is what he's going to take. We'll try it out. And I'll make another video and I'll let you know how it goes. All right. Now, on to mine. Now, what I have in the secret bag here, okay? Food enzymes. And I think this was Nature's Sunshine. Yeah, they have new bottles now. It's really nice. Barberry and IX. These are the ones that I was prescribed. These two are Nature Sunshine. This is a pure herb. And same herb doctor, same visit. He suggested that I take Barberry, a half of a teaspoon, three times a day. So this herb right here, I'm going to do morning, noon, and night, half of a teaspoon of that. The other two um, the IX, this, I'm taking six of these a day and I'm taking three of the food enzymes a day. Now, what is actually going on is I'm having brain cloudiness. I, I can't even remember anything. I, I can't come up with words. It's really hard cognitive function. Um, so I'm struggling with that. I'm struggling with weight. I'm constantly tired. There's some issues with my blood. So without getting too in-depth, digestive issues, cramping, things like that. So um, we're going to try these, see what happens. The IX is for um, blood, helping the blood get oxygen and some circulatory things. The food enzymes, this one here is for digestion, and the barberry is for your immune system and... Um, digestion so hopefully that'll help but i want to let you know the visit that we took and i'll post another video and we'll see how this turns out so stay tuned <laughs> 